Hey guys, welcome to White Coat Chronicles. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video on memorization techniques. So throughout first year, I realized how important it is to have good memorization skills. You know, not everything is critical thinking. Sometimes you will get to an exam and you don't know a question and you are able to just think and work your way through, but oftentimes it's just memorization. You either know it or you don't know it. So today I'm gonna to be discussing some of the memorization techniques that I've used throughout um, first year and that have really helped me. So the first technique is spaced repetition. This is pretty much just reading a topic um, repeatedly over regular intervals of time. So let's say you learn information today and you don't revisit that information until six days later, you're gonna recall almost none of what you learned on day one. So repeatedly reviewing information helps you with retention and memory. So how often should you review and when should you space the studying out? It just depends on the topic. So for example, um, our last test block, we learned the 12 cranial nerves. And so we had to know each nerve, but we also had to divide it up into categories. So like afferent fibers and um, efferent fibers and just divide it up between like different three letter categories pretty much. So that was simply just memorization. So what I did is group into the categories and wrote it out myself. And every single day I would look at that list. So that was the way I spaced out that repetition, looking at it every single day. And that's for things that were with just like a list. But if it's a complete lecture, then you should space it out in a different way. So let's say I learned the lecture on Monday. That's considered day zero. That's the day the lecture was taught to us. That evening or whenever I go home, I review that lecture the day of. And then the next day, I'm also reviewing that lecture again. Two days later, which is now Thursday, I'm reviewing the lecture for a third time. And then four days later, I'm reviewing the lecture on Monday. So within one week span, I've looked at the lecture five different times. And so each time you're reviewing this lecture, it's gonna take a shorter and shorter amount of time to review. And each time you review, your memory and your recall is gonna increase. So again, you learned the lecture the day of, that's the first time you're seeing it. You review it on your own later in the day, that's the second time you've seen it. The next day, you're also reviewing it. This is now the third time you're seeing it. Two days later, you're reviewing it again, which is the fourth time. And four days later, you're reviewing it for the fifth time within one week. So five passes, each time you're reviewing, your memory is increasing. And another way to do spatial repetition and to increase your memory is through Anki and Quizlet. So Anki is just a computer program which um, lets you create a set of flashcards. So you have different decks and in those decks you um, create any type of flashcards that you want. And Quizlet, that's also pretty much just flashcards. Um, I don't use Anki, some of my classmates do, but I do use Quizlet and um, yeah, I feel like you know both ways are great as far as being able to do repetition and see something daily. So with Anki and Quizlet, you're just taking information from your lectures and creating flashcards out of them. And they should just be simple concepts, um, you know, quick facts, not full paragraphs or anything like that. And you should review it maybe every 24 to 48 hours, depending on your schedule. You know, if it's something quick on flashcards for me, I like to review it every single day. That really helps um, increase my memory. But just depending on your schedule, look at it every day or every other day. So the next technique is associative learning. So this is pretty much just linking new information with already existing information that you know. And it's just a way to create relevance to what you're studying instead of simply reading and repeating facts. So the association that you make is just personalized to your individual knowledge. So the connection can be random, you know, funny, strange, crazy, whatever makes sense to you and whatever helps you, um, whatever makes the information stick in your mind. So when I say the name Katrina, what comes to mind? So for some people it's Hurricane Katrina, or for some people it may be a person they know, but Katrina is associated with something else in your mind. So like for an example, um, how many astronauts have ever been to the moon? The answer is 12. So how do you memorize that 12 astronauts have been to the moon? There's 12 months in a year. So 12 months in a year, 12 astronauts on the, on the moon. The association between the months and the astronauts. Okay, I wish I had a better example of associative learning, but trust me, this works. Um, if I think of something else, I'm gonna pin it in the comment below. But associative learning is just all about the connections that you make. So the next technique is mnemonics. Um, this takes a little more effort to create, but they're good for anatomy and for memorizing different lists. And um, 
you know, I feel like it's important to make your own so that it really stick to you, but there are some other good ones out there. So for example, we had to memorize um, all of the bones for the hand. So there's eight different bones and the um, a mnemonic was some lovers try positions that they can't handle. And I mean, that's pretty easy to remember. Um, a simple mnemonic um, helps with the eight bones. If I didn't have that mnemonic, I'm pretty sure I would not memorize the eight bones for the hand. So if you make a mnemonic, but you don't review it, it's not gonna stick. So when you make this, uh, make sure you add it to your regular review schedule. Maybe look at it daily, once every two or three days, but um, you know, make it early and make sure you're reviewing it consistently and repeatedly. So the key to all these techniques is starting early, you know, with space repetition, um, mnemonics, Quizlet, Anki, associative learning. As soon as you learn the information, put these techniques to use. Don't wait until the week before the exam to start with all these different memorization techniques. So if you're waiting a week before the exam to create your mnemonic with a flashcard or to start your space repetition, you know, that's not enough time to really let the information stick and to be able to increase your memory or your recall. You're not gonna be able to commit that um, that information to your long-term memory. You may get by for the exam, but after the exam, will you truly be able to recall all this information you just learned? So repetition is so important for um, retention and memory. So the more times you see it, the better. You're just gonna increase your memory each time. So start early. Um, you know, choose what take choose which techniques works best for you and stick to those. So I hope this video was helpful in some way. Um, you know, if you have any other memory techniques that you use, you can leave it in the comment below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Bye.